then there's armed robbers that went into our house then they pointed a gun on me oh my god yes, hi guys welcome back to my channel oh my god guys i'm so excited for today because i have i have the beautiful pina mom in nigeria okay yeah if you've not checked her channel out i don't know what you're waiting for okay please go check pina mom in nigeria out on youtube i put her channel on the screen and also in the description box okay welcome pina mom to my show all right thank you so much it's an honor to be here okay so guys i have um i'm gonna be asking her so many questions see from the title you already know what this video is about okay i'm gonna be asking her questions relating to being a foreigner here in nigeria okay so the reason i decided to do this video is because i was watching some videos on youtube um talking about uh, you know asking foreigners what comes to their mind when they think of nigeria or when they hear nigeria right so when you hear about nigerians okay. what do you think we're saying kidnapping, drugs, um, scam. They're kind of violent. <laughs> poor country. You think about like poverty and like unclean Not water. No poverty. Like so many things that I'm like, are you serious? Like listening to those things. If I'm if I'm a foreigner, I wouldn't want to come to Nigeria, right? So yeah, I have a bunch of questions. So guys, if um, we did not answer. I didn't ask her most of the questions you would love to ask her. Please put your questions in the description in the comment section. She'll be there to answer all your questions. Okay, so the first question I have for her is um, Right, how is it like being a foreigner in Nigeria? Um, it's overwhelming okay. to be a foreigner in Nigeria is overwhelming because everybody sees you like they see your color because of my color yeah, yeah because I of my hair skin color and yes hair. there are times that you just want to be like alone you know yeah. that people don't see you and then but you they, get noticed yeah easily, yeah right? they will be asking me about my hair <laughs> if it's real if it's really from from my roots or is it attachment <laughs> you know those kind of things it's overwhelming yeah but but still it's it's good there's good there's bad yeah, of exactly. being a partner so why i said it's overwhelming is because um at first you will feel great that people is giving you people are giving you Attention. special yeah, yeah special treatment like that one i that that one i experienced in a hospital then i was pregnant with my first child yeah so i was in the hospital i went there for a checkup and there is a queue of pregnant women and i i went there 10 o'clock and i heard that the, um, several of them or many of them came there went there um six o'clock in the morning so as soon as i get there yeah as soon as i got there um the doctor called me that it's my turn and uh, there's this one pregnant lady that said that this foreigner you no know, get respect. That's what she <laughs> said. They don't the area where they yeah. say you don't get respect. They don't know. You know, like I, I feel like saying no, you sabi. <laughs> <laughs> but I just kept, I kept quiet I because it's my fault. Because yeah. I, it's not really your fault. You didn't ask for it. Did you go to the doctor to say please call me? No. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's not really your fault. No, but thoughts. still, I should have just waited for my turn, right? Okay, that means you should have told the doctor no. You, the doctor called you, and then you should have yeah. told the doctor no. It's I, the secretary that called me that it should I should go there already. So it's not really. So your they fault. were like murmuring and gossiping about you it. Trust that, Nigeria for that. Yes, yes. So that's why I said it's overwhelming. Yeah. It's kind of cool at first, and then later on it will be overwhelming. I, I feel the reason is like a, more obvious because of your skin color, right? Because yes. Dominic, Dominic. Uh, if you, if you don't know Dominic, she's also a YouTuber, an American here, a Nigerian wife. Fish. She's also married to a Nigerian. So guys, go check her out on YouTube. So Dominic is an American, right? But she's a she's black, right? She's black American. So if she can when we did video together, you won't even notice that she's a foreigner except she speak. You get the reason your own is like like people are always you are very noticeable is because of your hair texture and then your skin color yes. and i feel nigerians yes. and they treat foreigners especially you see if me and you should go out the way they will attend to you here in nigeria it will be different from the way they were no obviously like see the way nigerians reverence foreigners yeah like okay let me not just say so another question right how do you how would you describe nigeria oh how yeah. would i describe nigeria um nigeria is like um 
sea floor. Okay. Yeah. You know wanna... when you go to the sea, yeah. the sea is just so boring and everything. When you get that, when yeah. you dive into the water, mm. you will see a lot of stuff, a lot yeah. of things. So when you get to a, to um, um, near the shore, you will see corals. Yeah. yeah. That's how I see Nigerians, like Nigeria in a whole. Yeah. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. It's great to be here. But like in the, the sea, sea, when you go deeper, you will see those scary things like yeah. this big octopus, this sharks and everything. So nature is like that too. Yeah. There are also bad parts in nature. Yeah. And I'm not gonna deny it. Yeah. You already said it earlier that um, the perspective or the the way foreigners yeah, yeah. see in a Nigeria. view yeah, yeah. view nature, yeah, it's really, really bad. But they yeah. But they didn't see the good, good aspect of yes, it, you know, because yes. of what mainstream media put out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like most of the things they see on TV about Nigeria is mostly negativity, like yes, drugs, yes. all of that. But just like you said, it's like a seashore, right? You have the good things, you know, you have those beautiful sea with the cool breeze, the way the sea is even flowing, everything is beautiful. But when you deep dive into it, you now see that there are, yeah, of course it's sea you have those whole whatever experience but at the end you still see some scary things there i feel it's normal for every country because i don't think um there's any perfect country right yes yes that's what i want to say yeah like, it's not just nigeria yeah. yeah all over the world how they view nigeria is really different yeah they only see what is the bad thing uh, yeah. or the bad part about nigeria but you have to come here. Yeah, you really have to come here to know mm. what Nigeria. Like the because you see a lot of stories about scam, yes. drugs, and every doesn't mean all Nigerians are like that, right? Mm. So you shouldn't just. I feel the the, the where we as people we we feel is generalizing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. let's say now I met you as a Philippine. Maybe you didn't treat me well, right? As a Filipino, and then I meet other Philippines and start saying, oh, Philippines are like this. I, no. It does, yeah, it's yeah. not really good. So, another question I have for you is uh, how are the people in general, like, how are people here in Nigeria? How do you, like, how are Nigerians in general? How would you describe Nigerians? Because we've been talking about Nigeria as a country. Like, what about Nigerians? The people. Yeah, the yeah. people. So, the very first time I came here it was 2015. Wow, 2015. So, mm. Yeah, so I mean. In the area already now. <laughs> so, I made. Uh, so I made a post. Uh, I posted on my um, Facebook that that I thought Filipinos are the most hospitable people in the world. Yeah. I didn't know that Nigerians are the most hospitable people wow. because whenever I visit, <laughs> whenever I visit, even if it if, if even if it's not my husband's relatives, it's yeah. just friends or acquaintance they will really welcome you and they just don't welcome you into their house they will prepare food for you yeah oh they will offer wine and if do you know that most of them offer wine yeah you know commonly you will just all offer beer or juice no but when i came here it's always wine and <laughs> and you know to offer someone wine as yeah. a welcome welcoming thing yeah, yeah. yes to welcome somebody mm. it's special yeah it's so i special. really appreciate it so Nigerians are hospitable people. They yeah. are so nice. They are friendly because yeah, they are friendly and um, they are. They I are know happy we have people. a lot. They are, yeah, Nigerians, Nigerians are happy, are people. happy like, people. Like despite what we're facing, yes. like we try yes. to make comedy out of our situations. Yeah, yeah. Like people will be dying. Like Nigeria will be catching fire, but you still see that <laughs> we are still making comedy out of it. Like like we we are happy people, yes, right? Yes, but happy. that doesn't mean we don't have worries. Like we have crazy in Nigeria, we still have crazy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we have our own on that. So yeah, but it's a mis I feel Nigeria is a mixture of good and everything. bad. Everything, you everything know? is there. Yeah, everything is there. Whatever you're looking for. Okay, so how is your experience living in Nigeria? How has your experience been? My experience. Yeah, your experience living in Nigeria. Like, so let me start with a bad one, I guess. All right. Well, let's so, see. um, the second time I came here, 2017. Right. I just came here. Then we were sleeping, it's like past midnight. Mm. Then there's armed robbers that went into our house. Then they pointed a gun on me. Oh my god. Yes, because my husband was sleeping like a <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> and I was like, some there's something noise. Like uh, is it a rat or something? Mm. So as I opened my eyes, they pointed a gun to mm. me. 
and they told me that I should I shouldn't um, make a noise. I should keep quiet. So they were asking me for dollars for gold and everything, and I said I don't have any of those. So that's it. They hurt my husband. I have to like they were what do you call it? Hitting him. Hitting with him with no no with uh, with bottles oh, everything shit. they can see. So I have to cover my hand to you know Secure. on his mm-hmm. head because I'm already seeing blood. Mm-hmm. So when they saw me that I'm bloody already that's when they stop so that's it they took our money mm. they took our cards and then my phones my jewelry so that's the bad yeah. part that i experienced so yeah. i don't want to scare anybody okay it can happen yeah. anywhere in the world so you were asking me about my experience yeah. so that's i yeah. guess that's the baddest experience yeah. i've okay. experienced here in nigeria and i feel it's good like i'm not trying i'm not coming here to say oh nigeria is the perfect place for you to be in like no like i'm glad you shared this no, part but you, um right? um the reason is uh, it became bad for me because it's also our fault because we are so confident that you nothing know, no, no, because okay. it did, no, nothing happened in that estate for so long, okay. for many, many years, and then our gate is just like that. Oof. Our doors is not, are not closed, you oh, know. Yeah. That's why they entered. Oh. So it's in our part. It's um, okay. you we weren't um, very careful. Yeah. So the good part that I, I guess you felt because it's an estate. You yes, just yes, like, okay. yes, yeah. And um, the good part, I guess every day that I live here, it's always good. Like, that's why I'm here. Yeah, that's I'm why I'm like, living here. Despite the fact that you went through all of that, <laughs> yes. you still came back yeah, like, yeah. oh my god. That's... Yeah, that's why I am here because this is, being here the, is the best experience of my life. Wow. That I even asked my, I even told my, my family, my friends, my husband that I don't have the desire of living in the Philippines anymore because wow. I want to be here. Oh my god. Yeah, li- <laughs> what? It is true. Seriously. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I really want to live here. It's like, it's like, it's my calling that I should be yeah. here. And that I, I, I will be you here. You know why? Like, I felt from the first time we started speaking, right? Like the way you just flowed, like the first time we met, guys, if you've not seen that vlog, go watch it, right? Like the way she flowed in, like it's, I felt like this person has been in, like, it's just as if you're just a Filipina, but you have Nigerian blood inside of you, <laughs> like, you were just flowing, passing with us, you know, going, like, I'm like, yeah, you're not even scared. <laughs> the way she was dying, doing all of that, I'm like, oh God, that's cool. Like, I'm glad, can you really share, like, any specific thing that made you feel like, Oh, like like just the way you talked about the robbery and everything like can you give us like uh, just a little experience like some yeah to hold on like okay just the way you explained the the robbery at why the, I yeah, wanna be here yeah yeah um, because I fo- I fell in love with a Nigerian ah, because it's... I'm married to a Nigerian that's why ah. I'm here <laughs> like yeah let's drink to that ah. cheers <laughs> Nigerians are always bringing home <laughs> They're always doing that to carry. <laughs> right, I love that. Guys. Okay, now, look, guys, I love this one, right? How did your people feel when you told them you're coming to Nigeria? Um, my parents, mm-hmm. they are cool with it because... Wow. Uh, yeah, it, because they know my husband. Okay. Uh, before we got married, he went to the Philippines. Yeah. They interviewed him. Oh, my... <laughs> so... So yeah, like he showed himself to be a responsible yeah. and real yeah. person. Um, I had a problem with friends. Oh. They don't really take it seriously. Or other acquaintances, we're not even close. And they're saying that, oh, you are going to Nigeria. You don't know what kind of mm. of um, life, country, yeah. yeah, what kind of life you will have yeah, when you get day. there. Um, but I really didn't, uh, that, those, those um, comments, didn't didn't matter to me as long as my parents my mm. siblings and my grandparents my aunts they're okay with it i'm okay yeah with i it. feel you're not marrying the full country just marrying an individual just one person right so like whatever the see he he getting married to you is already like an assurance for security right 
like he loves you so he's not going to endanger your life and all of that yeah so, and i heard about that once a nigerian marry you that mm-hmm. means that you're already good to yeah go. you're good to go because like see baba they will secure <laughs> you with their life so that's one thing i love about them yeah so yeah what does the philippines think of nigeria like when you talk about nigeria what comes to a filipina what comes to your mind um for filipinos yeah Filipino. what they thought yeah, about nigeria, nigeria. Um, hmm. okay, so this this is it. When my husband went there, it's uh, he he went to the Philippines not just once, he's been there many times. Okay. So every time someone will see him, they will ask him, Where are you from? So he will say, uh, He will tell them that I'm from Nigeria, it's from it's in African co- yeah. uh, continent. Yeah. So they will be like, Oh, have you seen lions there? Um, giraffe, or yeah. all those wild, wild animals. animals. And my husband will say that oh, Africa was a very scary continent. So, right? so my husband will say that oh, I've never, I've never seen those Ooh, in my own life. And they will be shocked. Yes, because they thought that yeah. once you ca- came you, from African Africa. African country, mm. they thought that you live in a desert or yeah. or, do, or those um reserve uh, yeah. what do you call it park. <laughs> Like yes. yeah, you. Yes. Oh, they would. They would also tell me that is Nigeria a desert country? Yes, that's that's what they thought about Nigeria. So when I came here, I of course I recorded some part of Nigeria, the Lagos Bridge, yeah. the 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 buildings, yeah. and they will and they will be like, oh, so there's buildings in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, you know sometimes I take it like. I kind of feel offended when yeah, they do that yeah. because because they talk 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 they don't even know about the place you yeah. know and uh, I don't know I don't, I don't, like even listening to you right now I feel like I, I'm even trying to like put myself in their shoe and mm-hmm. try to understand like why would you think that Africa Nigeria is a forest is a like yeah, like a desert. a desert like what would you even think of because yes. like I feel like nigerians are everywhere in this world like yes, there's yes. no country that you will not find nigeria right so how would you like see a person that feel this person has been living in a bush in a forest all this <laughs> yeah but the thing is i feel back to mainstream media i feel it's because of what they portray their what they see mm-hmm. even i feel even our um, movie industry yeah they are trying right now nollywood industry is trying but i feel because I heard someone, it got, it's, in, it's South African, saying that one, once you talk about Nigeria, one, one, the first thing that comes to her mind is witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, you know, because of the kind of movies they watch. Yes, yes. Yeah, so the, those kind of things can really change people's narrative, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, so I feel <clears throat> we should just try and minimize those kind of, the kind of things we put out um, there. I have another question for you, right? Oh. Uh, how did you yeah guys i have this one i've been meaning to ask her this question how did your family react to you bringing a nigerian home that you want to get married to a nigerian how did they react like what do you mean like reaction like they were shocked like they were shocked like were they like ah oh, nigeria are you <gasps> going to marry uh, a drug addict oh, oh my god those kind of things no they don't even know nigeria okay like, uh, yeah so i have to explain okay. it to them and then okay first i think i should ask how did they react to you bringing a black man to them that you want to get married to a black man before we even talk about him being in nigeria because there's this thing like being a black and then being in nigeria so okay. how did they like as a filipina you're supposed to bring your skin color home right like oh, no, no, no. No, no like because you live in the philippines yes. right uh-huh. you interact more with filipina filipinos Philippine, yes yeah so because of that you should you know maybe there are uh, okay, okay. chances of you getting being in love with uh, a Filipino um, is. in the Philippines we really marry foreigners okay we married white men okay. we marry black Americans okay. we marry Asians other Asian countries so it's not new to our society okay. that you marry a foreigner. foreigner but to marry someone from Nigeria it's a new thing mm-hmm. because it's not it's not every day that you will see a Nigerian Nigeria. because okay. they most uh, most of them they will see a uh, black Americans those from the America yeah so when I told them that I'm gonna marry someone from Africa from Nigeria they didn't really bother because you know I'm in my right age to yeah. choose who I'm gonna marry mm. so my 
my dad only told me that he should meet the person you know mm. no i i didn't say that i'm gonna marry i i told them that someone is wanted to see me wanted to court me <laughs> <laughs> yeah courting is still um you know yeah yeah so someone wanted to come here wanted to see me wanted mm. to get to know me and my family and if things goes right then maybe we will think about marriage that's why i told them okay. so my dad said that okay let him come here so my husband then my suitor went there and they um he met them so they were talking so one time my husband my then <laughs> suitor yes, so yeah yeah he asked my mom and my dad to go to the rooftop they want to talk and they left me behind that i shouldn't be there so he was talking to my parents and that was when he said that the next time he will come he will go to nigeria is gonna marry me wow. and that's it they just uh, give their blessing. blessing i i really love that because even here in nigeria i feel there's this cultural uh barrier when it comes to my like okay let's say for for now we are still trying to work on it right we're not there yet but even in nigeria like you let's say an Igbo getting married to a yoruba like other tribes other tribes it's still really something you have to talk to your parents about mm -hmm. now we talk of marrying a total foreigner i feel nigerians right they are cool with marrying a total foreigner like uh, like like now a, a nigerian getting married to a filipina but like tribe tribe like uh, yoruba yeah. to Hausa, you know it's kind of still some that was why i asked like how do they feel because yes, yes. you know even let's say now with the narratives people have about nigerian let's say i'm not a nigerian and then because still that south african girl i was talking about right she said her mom started telling her from an early stage early age in her life not to get married to a nigerian mm -hmm. that once you get you start following a nigerian the first thing they will do is to open your belly what? in all the drugs and then ship you out of the country so with that mindset right from childhood she started being conscious of not having anything yes. to do with nigeria mm -hmm. because of that narrative mm -hmm. right so that was why i asked how did your parents because you know with what they see on mainstream media what they hear i'm sure even after you've introduced him to them they still went ahead to do their research to know more about nigerians even without telling you no. they might uh, maybe i don't maybe know maybe because i somebody like my dad my dad will go he will go deep <laughs> he will search i know <laughs> he will just say okay no problem we'll listen we've heard you all right no problem no. then when you go you go and do his underground yes, search yes, like, yes, let yes, me know yes. these people yeah. so yeah so and then when they get to know and then what they are seeing mostly is the negative aspect they yes, will yes. have yeah so that was what i asked i'm really happy that they were opened yes, right yes. 